What is up everyone? How you doing? So, we've been missing a lot of videos lately. Stuff hasn't been aligning, but it's okay. I'm trying my best and some things just don't work out. So, I've been working really hard on getting the rest of the parts for the E36 because I want to finish this up. I'm eager to drive it and I'm eager to sell it and uh, make some money so we could do some cool stuff. So, I don't want to miss a video today. Uh, keep missing videos because of dumb shit, but uh, my buddy Bobby, he has a um, S13 coupe. Um, it's not Sylvia, but it's very similar to mine and he just recently turboed it and I find the setup really really cool because he used all OEM stuff and did it for very very cheap and I want to show you guys because I know a lot of you guys are always interested in turboing your vehicle so we'll give you a quick rundown on uh, what it takes to turbo a KA and uh, we're gonna be tuning it tonight so I put a base map on it he's been driving around doing his thing and we're gonna get on the dyno tonight a few moments later <laughs> All right, what do we have here? I have no idea. And so You claim to not have any idea either. So Brian and I literally just went to the UPS store before they closed because a package came in and we have no idea what it is and this it's is, huge. This is unexpected. So we're gonna open it because we're all so curious. Sheesh! See, I see something round right here, right? It's a circle. I'm kind of nervous, I'm really excited. Oh my god. You ready? Oh my, <laughs> oh my god. god. Are they Rezacs? Or are they... They're works. Yeah, they're. I think they're Rezacs. Where did these come from? I didn't order them. They're 4x. Or oh, they're VSMXs. No, do you say Rezacs? Oh, they are Rezacs. <laughs> See, I, I kind of know what I'm talking about. I assume this is a box of hardware, or a bag of hardware. What? <laughs> you talk there? Tucker knows what's up. 16 by 7. Oh, no way. Plus 38. 4 by 114. Where did these come from? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> it's a full set of works. Got a barrel. And a barrel. I, we have what? All four barrels? and Everything. Everything, yeah. yeah. Just disassemble. Just, just Wait, this says 4 by 100. So are they dual drilled? Oh no! They way. are dual drilled. That's sick. There we go. They're four lug. They're for the Miata. What? No way! Now I'm even more excited. <laughs> this is sick. Oh my God! Steph is gonna be so hyped. I didn't realize that they were four lug. I thought they were five lug. Yep, they're four lug. That's so sick. It's pretty there's, crazy, huh? There's, there's no note or anything. There's gotta be a note, man. Can you guys believe this? Because I'm kind of kind of shook right now. Yeah, I know. All right, guys, so I, I'm still a little quiet about it because I am so completely just surprised, I think is the word. But I just got a DM on Instagram. Um, the homie that sent these out actually uh, hit me up a few months ago and talked about it, and I was just like, yeah, man, that'd be sick. Rezax, and I mean, I didn't take it seriously, but I mean, who, who would expect to get, you know, wheels in the mail? And look at this, they showed up, and I can't believe it. Um, I'm gonna put his Instagram right here. His name's Kevin. Kevin Padilla. That's how we. That's how it's pronounced, right, guys? Yes. <laughs> so, uh, dude, I Kevin. I can't thank you enough. These are. I've been going nuts trying to find wheels for Sesame Auto, and this is such an awesome option. I know she likes her Rezacs, and she's really picky when it comes to wheels. So, this is sick because now we can just kind of go ham and building them, and we can get the the barrels powder coated black. We can do the faces whatever color we want. Get some nice lips form and get them to fit the car perfect and. Dude, I couldn't be more thankful. This is so freaking, I mean, how often do a box of wheels just show up at your doorstep? This is cool as hell. Brian, we have the most badass subscribers ever. Agreed. Agreed, this is cool. I'm so pumped. So I'm gonna clean these up and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna bring these to the powder coater like ASAP because I wanna get these things together quick. This is gonna be fun. What color are you guys thinking? I'm always hyper, like hyper silver or white. Those are always my go-to as you guys could probably guess. B, yeah. what are you thinking? Hyper silver or white? That's definitely. No one say black. If you say black, get your ass out of here. We're not painting these black. He's a big fan of the the OEM silver. Yeah, me too. I think silver is gonna do it for this car because this car is pretty low key. Yeah. Agreed. It is pretty low key. And I had white Rezacs, and they're miserable to clean. So it's also a good one. Oh, dude, I'm so gassed. This is so cool. 
This is so cool. Bobby G's here! Jimmy! The main chorus is here. What's up? <laughs> Yo, we just got Rezax. No way. Yeah, dude. You just have those. <laughs> I know, right? But they're uh, 16 in their four log, which is perfect for the Miata. Oh, sick. Right? It's going to look rad. All right, Bobby. So uh, we're going to show off your car today. Okay. We're going to enjoy the experience. Woo! Hey, right, Bobby. You ready to party? Let's go to the dyno. All right. So I want to tell you about these guys real quick because uh, this is cool. I know we talked about it earlier. KTs are the way to go. And Bobby G right here has himself a pretty simple setup. He uh, found a front mount intercooler from someone. You got it for probably dirt cheap, right? Free. For free. There you go, dirt cheap. <laughs> he did a nice in-mount setup with it. Uh, threw together an intercooler piping kit with just, you know, a chop saw and a buddy that knows how to weld. Pretty much. Um, and besides that, he has a stock T28 turbo from an SR20, which you can find online for anywhere from $100 to $200. Um, some tubular manifold that you got used online for probably dirt cheap. 50 bucks. 50 bucks. Um, besides that, you have a Nismotronic ECU yep. and some 740 Nismo injectors. And some like oil feed lines that you found on the internet. And actually, Benny had them. Oh, there you yeah, go. Yeah, Benny had them. So, uh, Falling on a budget right here. Dude, that's it. So how much do you think you have in it with the ECU and everything? Total, like, to right now with like the labor of welding and everything, probably under 1500 bucks. Which is badass. Yeah. yeah. So, uh... Let's get some dino and get Make to work. Horse puppies. Oh yeah. Are we live, baby? We live. We live. <laughs> All right, guys. So Bobby's keeping it simple, keeping it cheap, and he's using a Nismotronic ECU. So Nismotronic ECU is basically um, what what he does is the company that makes it. They take a stock um, K computer and they put a board on top of it that then controls the stock computer, almost like a standalone ECU, which is pretty cool. So. Um, Nismotronics, they're affordable and they work. Um, um, you could wire in uh, sensors to them if you want to, like a MAP sensor, if we're going speed density, this time we're actually tuning on MAP. AFR sensors, oil pressure sensors, anything we need that we could actually wire into, almost like a standalone. And, uh, Let's get it. It's, a good, it's the first ECU I tuned on, so that's, you know what I mean? That's yeah. a good way to get started. EOG. We'll see what it's been making. Horsepower, not bad. Uh, it was extremely rich up top to the point it was actually breaking up as you could see in the curve, and uh, that's cool. I mean, we literally threw like a quick map on it to make it safe to drive and uh, oh, clean up a little bit. Unfortunately, I was able to log the AFRs that time, so it just kind of making some quick adjustments. So, this next pull, we'll get some more information out of it and just try and clean her up. And let's get it, let's get it. This K, little KA boogie. I didn't even see the torque. What's the torque? Yeah. 215. 215 torque. That's good. This is an SR turbo. Like, yeah. this is, so this turbo came off of my Black Z. Yeah. Wow. Sick. So we still got a ways to go, but we're already making over 25 more horsepower, which is sick. Dude, this KA is so healthy. I'm very impressed. Thirty. <laughs> you gotta look at it like this, though. Before and after. Before and after. Yeah. Oh, Damn, that's so good, dude. So we're at 230 horsepower on 7 psi and a T20. I keep saying it, but baffling. And uh, honestly, the map, as far as I could tell from how many KTs I've done, is very conservative. There's definitely some more room for power, but. This car is a seat time car for Bobby, and the whole reason of this car is for it never to break and just have fun with it. So, it is so happy where it's at, I'm just gonna leave it. We do one more pull to clean it up entirely, and we should be ready to go, but it's 
thing's gonna hammer. It's not bad. And it sounds awesome. It sounds awesome, right? It sounds so good. KAs without a turbo, worst sounding engine. With a turbo, amazing. Way better than an SI. Hey, I want what? I've never seen it as a solid number. I mean, there we go. I mean, look, look at my fuel. Flat. Mm. I love it. 30 more horse. Let's see you ready for goes. it? I don't know if I'm ready. So what's baffling is the fact that a stock S13K makes probably 130 horsepower, 140 horsepower, like without a turbo. Bobby's completely stuck. Um, no, 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 I got boards, I got boards. Or just end it, yeah, I got, you got you it. Got yep. You're doing great. So uh, he puts a SR turbo on it, waste gate, seven PSI, and the thing picks up 100 horsepower, crazy. <laughs> I think he likes it. Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> that thing rips, dude. <laughs> oh, that's it's amazing. My vape. How's it feel? Dude, it feels awesome. You could you could feel the 30 horse? Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, that's amazing. And it probably feels a lot smoother too. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Thank yeah, you. Of course. Oh we fixed ready? Oh there we go. <laughs> Hell yeah. The first one's what people are gonna remember too. <laughs> Alright guys, so we ended up having fun tuning Bobby's car and I still can't get over that thing. I mean two hundred and thirty horsepower on such a conservative tune and I mean blew my mind away so remember guys you're only a scavenger hunt of parts away from having a pretty sick nat setup on your 240 so look into it so and besides that i still cannot believe that we just got rezax in the mail probably the coolest thing ever i love rezax as you guys know i had them obviously in my car last season and i love them so much they're sick they're perfect and i've been going nuts trying to find wheels for steph's car and it just works out too well so kevin Thank you so much. You are unreal. Fucking so appreciative of this. This is amazing. So you guys are gonna see me rebuild these wheels. It's gonna be fun, it'll be cool. And uh, we'll watch these things transform pretty quickly. So, hell yeah. But besides that, it's late. I'm tired and I, gotta go to, and I have to edit this video and go to bed. So hopefully tomorrow we'll be grabbing the Beamer parts. We'll be finally getting back to work on that. And you guys all know. So. You guys know the deal. Join the Patreon, link in the description, of course. And besides that, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content, and see you tomorrow.